At the Monterey Policy Committee uh, MPC meeting held on 6 October 2022, the Bank of Uganda increased the central bank rate by one percentage point to 10%. A combination of global factors, the recent drought and the weaker shilling to US dollar exchange rate have driven inflation to the highest level recorded since 2012 and deteriorated the inflation outlook. The annual headline inflation rose to 10% in September 2022 from 9% in August 2022. Annual core inflation, which excludes volatile food and energy prices, rose to 8.1% in September 2022, up from 7.2% in August 2022. Annual electricity, fuel, and utilities inflation, which had been increasing since the beginning of the year, declined to 18.7% in September 2022 from 19.6% in August 2022, offering some relief against the price pressures. In the coming months, headline inflation is forecast to rise an average around 7.3% in 2022 and between 8% to 10% in 2023 before declining back to around 5% in 2024. The outlook for inflation is highly uncertain as several risks lie ahead. The balance of risks is tilted upwards. The upside risks include the entrenchment of higher inflation expectations, the escalation of geopolitical tensions and the associated supply chain disruptions, stronger monetary policy tightening by major central banks further weakening the exchange rate, and the impact of adverse weather conditions on food production. Nonetheless, there are downside risks to the inflation outlook, including a global recession resulting from the fight against inflation, faster decline in commodity prices, and lower domestic demand due to declining real incomes. The domestic economy which has weathered several shocks, is showing signs of recovery. The Composite Index of Economic Activity, CIEA, grew slightly by 1.2% in the quarter to August 2022 from 1.1% 1 1 in the quarter to May 2022, supported by increased industrial activity. Also, business sentiments have improved since the previous forecast round. Nevertheless, economic growth is expected to remain below its long-run trend until financial year 2025-26. stroke The risks of global recession and tighter financial conditions will likely weigh on domestic economic growth. Moreover, the potential for a sustained weakening of the shilling exchange rate, coupled with lower foreign exchange reserves and constrained demand for Uganda's exports, could add to the external financing strains. In addition, higher domestic interest rates, declining private sector credit, and tight fiscal policy could further way down economic growth. Inflation pressures are projected to peak in the first half of 2023 as COVID-19 effects wane, supply chain pressures ease, and as a result of the impact of recent policy actions. The recent increases in the CBR coupled with fiscal tightening 
have had somewhat an indirect effect in stabilizing the shilling exchange rates, which is expected to cushion the inflationary pressures. Indeed, growth in private sector credit and monetary aggregates have moderated, signaling the eventual impact on aggregate demand. Nonetheless, inflation pressures remain elevated. In light of the outlook of higher inflation, the MPC has increased the CBR by one percentage point to 10%. The ban on the CBR remains at plus stroke minus two percentage points. The margins on the CPR for the rate discount and the bank rates will remain at three and four percentage points. Consequently, the rate discount and bank rates will be 13 and 14 percent respectively. The Bank of Uganda remains determined to rein in on inflation and will continue to undertake the necessary measures to restore inflation to the target of 5% in the medium term. There ends the reading of the Monterey, statement, Monterey policy statement for the month of October 2022. Thank you.